as well as hard news, magazines and trade portals publish special features. And unlike news items, these can be planned well ahead. So it's no surprise to learn that most journals draw up a list of what's going to be featured week by week, month by month. It helps them decide which items they're going to have to farm out to freelance journalists and so on. That's called commissioning, by the way. It helps their advertising sales teams and, and their customers to plan their ad campaigns. But more importantly for us, they are a fantastic way to find PR opportunities and opportunities to submit articles. In the US, these plans are called editorial calendars, and in the UK, they're known as forward features lists or, or just features lists. Some, not, uh, not many, are quite comprehensive, giving the name and contact details of the journalist and even a short synopsis of the proposed feature. That's great. Most, though, give you just a title, in which case you're going to have to phone the commissioning editor and ask who has been commissioned to write the piece. Do not be faint-hearted. It's a perfectly normal thing to ask for. No big deal. And remember, if you don't ask, you won't get in your handout, you'll find a mini poster saying just that. Pin it on the wall above your workstation, because it's a great maxim for lots of the things you're going to have to do to become a voice in your industry. Back in the 90s, you had to phone and ask for hard copies of the editorial diary or features list which meant from that moment on you were pestered by salespeople trying to flog advertising space. Fortunately, today it's all available online. Let's suppose I provide products or services to the construction industry, in which case a magazine called Construction News would be an obvious target publication. So how do I find their features list? It's not as easy as you might think. When I go to their website, you can't find it anywhere. And that's typical. Magazines don't want their readers to get into the daily running of the mag. They simply want them to read articles and adverts. So with most journals, you have to go hunting. Sometimes uh, it helps to find the website sitemap. Uh, you usually find uh, a link to the sitemap at the bottom of a home page. But even there, this particular magazine doesn't want readers to find the features list. So our next strategy is to do a Google search. I type in uh, construction news forward features and found it. So I, I can see that in March, they'll be doing a feature on earth moving. In April, they'll be featuring ground engineering and so on. Plenty of time to plan how I'm going to contact them, what particular value I can add for them, while creating an opportunity for, for a dedicated article or inclusion uh, in a feature for me. Uh, by the way, um, talking to, to journalists and, and editors and so on, in a later session, I'm going to show you how to schmooze the press. Another example of a features list or editorial calendar, uh, this one from Legal Week is a downloadable PDF. Now, if my company's speciality <coughs> excuse me, is intellectual property, protecting music composers from uh, online piracy, perhaps, then I can see that there's an opportunity to get coverage in May. And features lists don't just apply to printed journals. This uh, is a features list from an online publication dedicated to supply management uh, and procurement. Just in case you can't read it, uh, this is a, an important paragraph. It says, supply management produces a series of supplementary guides for readers. Some are how-to manuals covering things like budgeting, cost management, strategic uh, sourcing and technology. If you are interested in contributing, please contact Paul Snell. They're actually 
giving me a direct link to the commissioning editor. They, they go on to say, if you're interested in contributing to a particular section, in other words, a feature, uh, they give another link. Yes, they are asking for stories, opinion pieces and news. So there we have it, forward features, forward feature lists or editorial diaries. Uh, but before you rush off wasting your own time uh, and that of journalists, make sure you have completed this course. You need to understand how to capture the attention of editors, commissioning editors and, and journalists, how to do your research uh, and how to get an angle. So keep at it.